so forth, the terrorists are coming. They're coming in through our open borders, okay, with no borders, no language, no culture, and they are getting into the fabric of our society. I read to you earlier, the sleeper awakes, uh, awakens in um, government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. They're here, okay? And it's only a matter before these random attacks happen. That's not, that's not me being irresponsible. That's not me fear-mongering. That is me telling you what's coming, okay? It, I'm telling you what's coming. Dr. Savage has written a book about what's coming from 50 different avenues. And nobody wants to listen. Hence the rise of Donald Trump. The establishment doesn't know what to do with him. Quite frankly, I think uh, the terrorists would like to have him in office because they'd like to take him on to see what he's got. But I do believe there's concern there because he is a tough talker and he will back up what he says. And that is why people, are, that's why his message is resonating. I was, um, it was, it was like two o'clock in the morning. I was up. I couldn't sleep. I was flipping through channels, and I came across a rebroadcast of special report on Fox News. And there's Charles Krauthammer spewing the same old stuff, you know, about Trump, and it's going to fail. But I've been wrong before, so now he jokes. Her, her, her. Don't go by me. The point is, they don't know what to do with him. Okay, the Democrats will say, "Yeah, bring Trump. He's a buffoon." Behind the scenes, they are worried about him. Hillary is worried about him, and she should be. I think Hillary is worried about what he knows privately about her and Bill, because everything that we know in the public, that's just all window dressing, the affairs and all the salacious details. When Trump sent that tweet to her last week and said at the end about, you know, you're going to bring up women's issues. I'm going to. I'm paraphrasing. You're going to bring up of women's issues i'm going to bring up bill he says at the end and i quote in capital letters be careful it was almost in a mocking tone what that is code for what that be careful was code for in my humble opinion was i know things about your husband the public does not know and i am not afraid to go there with it i will go there and that's what he was telling her now you know you know, Hillary's going to, because she's a woman, I know people who say, I want to vote for her because she's a woman. Listen, that doesn't work that way. You get someone in there who's good. You get someone in there who's going to protect the country from terrorism. You get someone in there who's going to move the economy forward. That's what we need. I don't care who it is. I don't care if they're Jew or Gentile. I don't care if they're white, black. I don't care if they're female. I don't care anything. You get the best person for the job. You don't say, oh, I, I want Obama because he's black. We tried that already. It failed. Okay? We put a guy in there, sold himself as black, even though he's 50% black and 50% white. He is as much black as he is white and vice versa. Okay? That's why I always joke when people call me racist. I always say, oh, against Obama, I'm racist. Am I racist against the 50% of him that's white or the 50% of him that's black? You tell me. So we have the politicians like Rubio pandering you have the politicians like hillary pandering you have the politicians like cruz who's kind of uh <laughs> kind of snake-like you know a little the, the the peristaltic movement of ted cruz meandering through the crowd making his way to the top of the polls in iowa it's very impressive because he's nowhere you know um tony soprano james uh, chris christie is trying the tough talk that's not working Ben Shapiro, uh, uh, Dr. Shapiro tried the, uh, Ben Carson, excuse me, Dr. Carson tried the soft talk. That was working to a point. The terrorists blew him off the map. People want a tough talker. They don't want a policy wonk. They don't want someone who's going to, yeah, he'll, he'll give out an economic plan, and he'll give out a plan for this, a plan for that. It'll be 10,000 pages. Nobody will read it because nobody reads anything politicians want. It is what I have said before many times. It is a popularity contest. The presidential race is all about your personality. It's about likability. It's about what you look like. It's about what clothes you wear. It's about if you're going to end up on TMZ. Of all things, it's a popularity contest. The masses that vote, the 60 plus million that will vote in 11 months, they're not reading policy. They're not reading your economic plan. They're not reading about your social programs. They don't care. All people want to do is be entertained. And the presidential race is more important than entertaining people, but that's the only way to get them to, to the game. Now, Trump 
is entertaining and he has a strong message. I don't bow and I don't pray at the altar of Ronald Reagan, but I did like Reagan. Okay, He was not without his faults, but overall, I felt he had a, a good presidency, a great presidency. If, you know, We had the recession in 83. He rebounded. He won 49 out of 50 states. In, in 84, he rebounded. A lot of people pray at the altar of Ronald Reagan. I don't, but Ronald Reagan had that charisma. Okay, It wasn't his policies that got him elected. It was his charisma. It was his tough talk against the Iranian hostages Okay, that were being held. The Iranians did not want to deal with Ronald Reagan, and although it was kind of a political move to have them released the day of his inauguration, that was theater, but whoever set that up on the Reagan team was smart to do that. Donald Trump has that charisma, okay? He has that chutzpah, and even though he can be a little crass at times, he has that likability. If you don't if you love him or hate him, he, he has that likability. Some people love to hate him, and he is resonating with people. There was a poll just last week that said he is rising in popularity with blacks and Hispanics. Okay, Let's face it. Although uh, the media would like to have class warfare, although the, the president would like to pit white against black, black against white, brown against both, gay against straight, and so on and so forth, as, as Dr. Savage points out in Government Zero. <laughs> I knew I heard that somewhere. Um as much as Obama would like to pit us against each other, we all have the same concerns. First of all, we all want to live. Secondly, we want to live well, and we want our families to live well. Okay, If you're dead from terrorism, that can't happen. So there was a poll that just said that amongst blacks and Hispanics, Trump's popularity is, is rising. Now, you know, he's... He's not going to win the overwhelming majority right now, but there's a possibility. Obama got like 98% of the black vote, and I think 92% of the black vote in 12. He, um, Trump is looking at, between black and blacks, it's like 30, I think 38%, and uh, amongst Hispanics, it's like 35. Those numbers might be flipped, but they're both within that margin of error of like 34 to 36% um, in favor of Donald Trump. This is unheard of for a Republican. OK, and the media wants to tell you, oh, the 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 Republicans hate uh, minorities. Look at the Republican lineup. OK, you got Ted Cruz, Hispanic. You got Rubio, Hispanic. You got Ben Carson, a black man. You got Carly Fiorina. I can't stand her, but she's a woman. OK, and then you've got um, the rest uh, Christie and Trump, white guys. OK, everybody else, Rand Paul, it, it doesn't matter. OK, he's he's going away. He never was, actually. So and then you look over there, you got you got Bernie Sanders and you got Hillary Clinton. Who's the more diverse of all the candidates? Not do you like the candidates. Who's the more diverse? People see this. People are not stupid. Government thinks you're stupid. Obama thinks you're stupid. The, de the liberal Democrats in, in Washington, D.C. most certainly think you're stupid. Uh, but the joke's on them this time. Because of Trump, we're paying attention more so than we normally would have. And uh, they didn't count on that. They count on us not to pay attention until, like, sometime around the conventions. We'll take a quick break. Lou Pate here with you on The Savage Nation. Welcome back to The Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you as we head towards the top of the hour. Remember to check out The Good Doctor on uh, Facebook. His Facebook page is the one with his book, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture, uh, on Twitter. Uh, at a savage nation, and they can't be said enough, folks. Uh, government zero, no borders, no language, no culture. It is the foundation of so much of what I talked about today. Aside from reading from the book, a lot of the points I made uh, come right from what I have read in the book about the, the trajectory of the country, about Obama, how Obama wants to to bring us down, and what what would happen if Hillary Clinton ended up in the White House. Uh, the sleepers amongst us, the sleeper awakens in reference to ISIS terrorism. People are focusing on the on the wrong things in this country. You know, Bill Cosby and other things that don't matter. And the the um, what you call uh, the, the the toilet paper on the back of someone's shoe that nobody can get off for the media, for the for the Democrat establishment, and for the Republican establishment is Donald Trump. <laughs> OK, and now uh, there's a new if you if the Republicans can't get rid of Donald Trump, the Democrats can't get rid of Donald Trump. We all know the media has tried ad nausea to get rid of Donald Trump. And now, well, 
There's a new Google Chrome add-on that allows users to eliminate mentions and photos of the Republican presidential candidate online, essentially creating a Trump-free Internet. Uh, now, this sounds funny, but they're calling it a, a description of the Trump filter extension, says it's part of the antidote for Trump's, and I quote, toxic candidacy. You know what this sounds like to me? This sounds very socialist. This sounds like very government getting in there and, well, you know, we're going to burn the books. Okay? We're going to eliminate you from the Internet. Okay? That's what it is. Uh, the U.K. government, who has its head up you know where, banning Dr. Savage, not allowing him to go there. The U.K. government has uh, responded to a petition to ban Donald Trump, but stops short of taking Action. The UK government has responded to a petition calling Donald Trump to be blocked from coming to Britain. Well, he'd be in great company because Dr. Savage is blocked too. How do I get on this list? <laughs> maybe, 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 it'll help me, maybe it'll help me get out there. So, how do I get on this list? Banned in Britain. It's a badge of honor. Uh, Trump and Dr. Savage. But Trump is not banned yet, but it is up there. You got about 500,000 signatures that have been garnered so far. And the government in the U.K. says it does not routinely comment on individual immigration and exclusion decisions, but says the Home Secretary has said that Donald Trump's remarks in relation to Muslims are divisive, unhelpful, and wrong. Now, on the, on the surface, folks, this sounds comical because it's so ridiculous, but it is dangerous. It's like what the Nazis did. It's what they do in China when they make you disappear. Remember the guy in front of the tank, Tiananmen Square? Whatever happened to that PSB? Huh? Poor sorry. You, you know, go in there. Okay? It, it, it sounds ridiculous, but you do not think that the White House is in touch with the big minds at Google? You don't think that this is a plan? We can't get rid of Trump, so let's just eliminate him from where people go. The Internet. The power of Twitter, the power of social networking. Hey, I got to run. That's it for me. Remember, check out Government Zero. No borders, no language, no culture. Special thanks to Robert. Special thanks to Jim. Dr. Savage returns tomorrow. My name is Lou Pate. You're listening to The Savage Nation. Savage.